You need to escape the friend zone. If you are being too nice, it is because you are wanting something from women. You are needing something from women. And that makes women put you in a friend zone because you're not really showing them your true desires. It is the time now for you to escape that thing that women call the friend zone. It was created for men who completely are afraid of showing their desires. That's what it was created for. And all you guys out there who are wondering, why do I keep getting friend zone? Why don't this girl like me? Um, I've been around her for a long time. I've been kind of showing her signs, but she hasn't really given me anything. That's because she snaffled you and put you in the friend zone. And I want you to break free. Please break free of the friend zone because you're not meant to be there. No man out there is meant to be in the friend zone. But there's so many guys walking this earth wanting to leave the friend zone but are stuck in it. So, one of the things I would say for you to completely escape this whole thing of the friend zone is to start to now connect with your desires. This is the only way. You have to understand that if you never connect to your desires, you're only left with the friend zone. I bring this information to you like this because it is important for me to let you guys know that I believe that any man who's in the friend zone, he has what it takes to get out of that and to never be in that ever again. Because guess what? I've been in the friend zone many times early in my years. I definitely have. I remember specifically uh, laying down with this girl in bed. I was at a college dorm in Milwaukee, and I'm laying there with her, and uh, I just say to her, uh, Madeline, can I kiss you? Or I said something like, can I kiss you? And she's like, no. And me feeling like, oh man. And then her eventually, me seeing her like some years later, or like a year later, I can't remember, and her being with some guy, and you know, me, you know, just not, you know, getting in the community, and I'm like, I wish I just had a chance with her and I was wondering, you know, how would she treat me? And I walked up to her and I felt like she just treated me the same. She did treat me the same. But at the same time, when she was treating me the same, I was a different man on the inside. So she had to start responding to me differently. But before that, you know, I was just totally in the friend zone, man. That's how I know that you can get out of that. And of course, I've been in the friend zone uh, with girls who I've tried to, you know, kind of, you know, show a sign here or show a sign there and not be too clear. And it's been a fuck up. It really has because I'm, I'm trying to do these things to get a girl attention. And I remember like one day there was a girl over my friend's house. It was actually his cousin. And I went over his house. And as she's there, you know, I tried to dress all good. And I never showed her any sign that I liked her. I was just trying to do something that I felt that she would like. And she always treated me nice, but she never treated me like I was a sexual prospect. A lot of you guys are so frustrated just because women are not seeing you as a sexual prospect. And you know why? It's because you're being too fucking nice. You're being too nice about your desires. These things that come to us so naturally. They come to us in such a natural way that we feel it when we see a girl. And we have the choice every single time when we're in front of a woman to say yes to it or to say no to it. And many guys, they say no to it. You know why? We've been conditioned our whole life to say no to it, to question it. And this is a call to action for you guys to stop questioning the part of yourself that knows. You know that you like her. You know that you want to have sex with the woman. You know that you love fucking. You know that you love having your dick suck. You know that you love women. You know, you know, you know. So why do you constantly walk around like you don't know? And you know for sure. Let it go. Let the part of yourself go that wants to keep you safe in the, in, in the prison of how can I uphold this thing so that women can like me? You're upholding something that women won't even like. So why the fuck are you upholding it? Release. Let it go. Completely allow yourself to start to connect to what it means to be a man 
who can express whatever he feels. I'm talking about connecting to the raw animal that's inside of you. You have a rawness about you that probably scares you. It probably scares you so much that you're even afraid of aggression. You're super afraid of aggression because you haven't connected to the animal that's inside of you that can ravish, that can take, that can fucking deliver, that can go out in the world and get things done. You can't connect to that just because you haven't been taught many a times. A lot of times you're questioning that and you're like, oh my God, I once showed this and it didn't get a good response. I once did this and it got judged. I want to do this, but will it come across in a good way? Give yourself a chance, please. I want men, I want men who are really, really nice. If you're watching this video and you're completely nice, you would say that to yourself, be honest. Because I have many, many nice guys ways about me as well. And I have to be honest with it for me to get past it. Be honest. Are you holding on to nice guy ways that are constantly putting you in the friend zone? Are there women in your life that you like, but you haven't told yet? Are there women that you see walking around throughout the day that you know that you like, that you know that you find attractive, that you know that you feel a draw to go say something to, and you're not? First, start to acknowledge that part of yourself that goes, I don't give myself a chance to express this. You need to acknowledge that part of yourself. This is like the unraveling of the thing that you don't need. You need to start unraveling it, which means start picking it apart. Start diving into it and start to see what is it about this that's keeping me safe like I am. That's not giving me the chance to be free. Men want freedom. If you have a masculine essence, you desire freedom. You want to break the shackles that are holding you down in every single way. You want to break the shackles of your prison of not showing your sexuality. You want to break this shit that's inside of you, but you're not giving yourself a chance because you're always questioning things. If you're going to ask yourself a question, ask yourself this. What would happen if I did release this? What would happen if I stopped being so safe? What would happen if I completely let this thing go that I'm holding on to? What would happen if I start to live out the ways that I want to really live out? What would happen? That's the curiosity that I, draw, that I want you to ask, that I want you to go with. Start to ask yourself questions that's going to be able to stimulate you in the right direction. Don't ask yourself questions or don't judge yourself in ways that are keeping you where you are because it's getting stronger and stronger. You probably think that what's happening right now is going to be easy for you to let go when you find coaching, when you do more meditation, when you do more approaches. The main thing is going to allow you to let it go is to go a different route because if you keep going the same route, it gets, gets stronger and stronger and stronger. But the moment you allow yourself to switch, it's very difficult, but the moment you allow yourself to switch, to the opposite of this thing, that's when it's gonna actually start going in a different direction. That's when you're gonna to have to not now start gaining strength for another path. You actually gain strength for, for your ego, but now let's start gaining strength for who you really are. Who you really are wants you to have sex. Who you really are wants you to fuck. Who you really are wants you to never be in the friend zone. The friend zone is built for men who are afraid of their desires. This like this little zone that women create. And a man, as he's walking through his life, if he at any point shows her that he's a part of that, she will go, here you go, buddy. You are that category. I'll go fuck this guy, but you can stay in this category. You can keep giving me what you want to give me, but I'll go fuck this guy. Because most women out there, they will manipulate that man. They will. Or they will keep him there and they'll say things behind his back. Or they'll keep him there and they'll know that he wants to fucking do something, but they'll just let him 
just stick around. I don't know why women do that because women are just as fucked as men are. So they would do these things as well. And then you have those women out there who are just like, <clears throat> which I love, who are just like, sorry, I need a man who actually can show me something. That's what you want too. You want women who want to tell you, sorry, those are the women you're going to learn from. The only thing you can learn from the women who are just holding you there is that they are comfortable placing you there. They are manipulators. They are. That's the only thing you can learn about them, really. But, it, but what you really want is to get the woman who's going to teach you that you shouldn't be there. You want to align with people who's going to show you in your life that you should not be a man that's being too nice. Everybody that's around me, they know completely that I will never stand for them being too nice. My friends, my own woman, anybody, they know that I won't stand for them being too nice because I'm repulsed by that. I know what it feels like to be too nice. I know what it feels like to offer compliment. I know what it feels like to wait it out and think that, oh, I'm going to get the girl. I know what it feels like to people please. I know what it feels like to kiss a girl ass, to be, be manipulated. I know what all these things feel like, so just allow me to gain insight into, okay, how can I allow another man out there, just as I have, to escape that shit and to start to now express what he wants to express and let the woman then deal with my desire. Because in the expression of my desire, I give her a chance to connect with her desire. But when you're not expressing your desire, you give the girl ambiguity so she can't even connect to her desire. So now she goes, oh, I'll place you in the friend zone because you don't make me feel sexy. You don't make me feel like I want you. You don't make me feel like I'm turned on because the behaviors that you're giving me, you don't want those behaviors and I don't want them. Become a man who wants the best for himself. Become a man who looks at the friend zone as a joke. That's the man you want to become. Look at the friend zone and go, what? What is that? Have joy in it. Look at it like, this is outrageous. This is completely outrageous. To me, it is completely insane that the friend zone is built because it shows a man in some way that there's a category for you if you don't show your desires. It shows a man that. It kills his self-esteem because he's like, I'm friend-zoned. And anytime a man can say that, he has self-esteem issues around it. He really does. I'm friend-zoned. How do you feel? Have you ever been friend-zoned? Doesn't feel good, man. It doesn't. I mean, I look at it now and I go, being friend zoned seems like I think the thing that is holding men back. Men for real want to break free. You guys want to break free, you do. I mean, you watch all these videos, you allow yourself to completely. Abandon every part of your life so you can learn about women. And then when you do it, you find yourself scared. You find yourself, in a way, relieved, but at the same time, afraid. You've been upholding this part of yourself that actually feels comfortable about being in the friend zone. You do in some way. Because if you didn't feel comfortable about it, you would change it. And if you are making a change about it, great to you, man. But if you are still battling with that and you're like, oh man, I'm still frustrated by it, here's some steps that I can say you guys can start to take to get out of the friend zone. The first thing is, I would say, anybody you're in the friend zone with or yeah, anybody right now you're in the friend zone with, stop talking to them. Stop talking to the girl. Completely just let her go. Because a lot of times for you to change her views about you, you're going to have to make a, a dramatic shift 
And it'll be very, very strange for her if she's already thinking that you're her friend and then you try to become her lover. It's gonna be a very strong shift in her. Either just completely allow her to be a friend or just walk away. That's what I would say is the most healthy thing to do. Because if she's keeping you there and you know you want something different from her, there's no reason for you to be there, man. Or just stay your friend. You have those two choices. Choose one and stick to it. Or if you, know, if you choose one and then you notice you guys devolve into something else, you do what you want to do. But I would say, as a general gist, to start off, let go of anybody right now who's friend on you. Any woman. Now, now that you've let that girl go, or you've become, made them become your friend, now it's time for you to start to do some work on yourself. Because all friends on me, like I just told you so many times, is an inability to express your sexual desire. That's really what it is. Your desires. And a lot of times around men, is sexual desire. So it's just the inability to do that. And once you start to connect to that ability, then this shit of like being, you know, the zone and friend, that shit leaves. So as a body practice, what you can do is around your cock, there's an area. Well, between your asshole and your fucking balls, there's an area called your uh, the perineum. And once you relax your perineum, what you'll notice that happen is that your, your feet will sink into the floor. You'll start to become more aware. Your body will become more relaxed. And you will notice that when you look up like this, you can now feel a part of yourself that you can't feel, that you couldn't feel because it was so tense. Many of the times you're, tension, you're tensing that part of yourself because you're afraid of showing your sexuality. But once you relax the perineum, a different energy comes from you. So let's call this, let's call this <clears throat> perineum awareness. I want you to become more perineum aware. And this will be something that I'll talk about more in my product that's coming out in May about learning how to bodily understand yourself when it becomes, when it comes to being a man that's attractive, a man that's really, really masculine and sexually open. We have to know, know your body really fucking well. So, coming back to perineum awareness, I want you to start to become aware of your perineum. And I want you throughout the day, as much as you can as you're walking around, I want you to just relax. Relax your ass and relax your fucking lower body and just take awareness into your perineum. And as you take awareness into your perineum, you'll notice that when you see people or things happen, it clenches up. Ah. Now you're starting to be aware of it. And the moment that you're aware of it, it can now move towards a different direction. So when it tenses up, I want you to consciously relax it. Tense. What you'll notice is that when it tenses, your everything in your whole abdominal region kind of tenses up. Relax. It's like that. Notice the difference? Like my chest even rises some. So it's like, if you notice from the side, it's like, it's like tense, down, tense, down, tense. Like my whole body kind of comes up. So a lot of times guys are wondering, okay, how can I remain grounded? A lot of times it's because, you're t it's because your perineum is tense. Relax the shit. Relax your whole pelvic floor. Just to relax the whole fucking thing. And what you'll notice is that energy will flow more from you. When you go up and do an approach, if, if I'm guessing that you're doing that, notice if your perineum is tense in front of the woman. Notice that when you say hello to her, is it relaxed? When you call her pretty, is it relaxed? When you say, hey, let's go for coffee, is it relaxed? Notice. When you're out at night, when you see a girl and she's in a group, does your perineum tense up or is it relaxed? And what you'll notice is that the moment you start relaxing it more and more and more and more and more, a different openness proceeds to your body. It starts to come through you and you feel a lot more open to your sexual desire. I hope you guys took a lot out of this. Anybody that was, I would say, if you feel like you're too nice, I hope you took so much out of this because there's so much value packed in here for you to be able to go out there and give your sexual desire. No more friend zone. Make that a thing for you. No more. I choose to express my sexual desire when need be. 
This is Tony Solo from The Natural Lifestyle saying that I love you guys and I see you when I see you.